What's up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We are here with another seasonal championship, Zero to Hero, and we have to use a B-class German sports utility hero. So the sports utility hero obviously is a car class. The performance group B class is 601 to 700 rating. We are using the X, X6M BMW. Yeah, X6M. There we go. From 2015. Obviously, the, the amount of cars isn't really big here that we can use. So. The tuning share code is in the description as always. <coughs> I was pretty disappointed when I saw the car requirements for this championship because I was hoping I can do all three of them with a BMW M3. Hint, I can't because it's not an SUV <laughs> or a sports utility hero as we are called here. I hope the tune makes these races about as easy as the other two championships were, but I have my doubts because I'm not a fan of cross-country races. No, it was not a good corner. But we have three laps, so it's not too bad, but obviously <coughs> what I would like to do is win this early, get the lead early, and then have a relaxed race which is what we have been doing in the other two championships. And this corner is just amazing because you can cut inside and overtake so many at once. You would see a triple pass skill, so it was at least three overtakes. I actually think we were seventh, but I can't tell. So seventh would have been four overtakes, but yeah, I can't, can't tell that. In this case, I didn't actually check. Now we can go to the inside of him because he was breaking very early and that puts us into first. So that's lap one into first. We were making use of some of the corners where the AI is just not very good. And obviously we lost time in this corner because I'm not very good in that one, but yeah we Really made, made very good use of the corners where the AI isn't very good and we were kind of taking lines that put us into a great position. Yeah, and that'll be the case in lap number two as well. I will use a very wide entry here. That was actually pretty much a racing line I was given. So. But obviously here we didn't have to overtake so there was nothing where we had to dart inside and make any massive moves on them. Now we go with a pretty wide entry and then go very tight in there and take an entirely different line that I think is a lot faster than the racing line gives you. So you have a wide entry when you hit the apex right at the checkpoint just finish out the corner and it's so much shorter than what the racing line gives you and it's also great for overtaking because the AI is more on the racing line and you take a line that is so different from it that you can start on the outside of them which is almost always open and you can just dart towards the inside and nobody will drive the corner that tight so you should always have space to overtake so that is pretty good and that should be a pretty easy 20 points here. It's going to be the other races that are going to give us a challenge. Or so I think at least. We can even go full throttle through here. Actually I hit the brakes a little bit because that was maybe taking my mouth too full. I thought we could go full throttle but I was... Now either my line wasn't ideal, or I was just too fast for it. 
it's possible as well. But I thought, thought we could. Ended up we couldn't, but <laughs> whatever. So we start with 20 points, that's obviously <laughs> all we can ask for, really. Hey, a wheel spin. You know, we have a lot of wheel spins in these championship videos. And I do not recall a single one being any good. <laughs> like, sometimes we're not absolutely terrible, but... I really don't recall any of them being good. <laughs> like... I don't like this race, by the way, because it goes along the beach and I'm not a fan of driving along the beach. It's too much bouncing and jumping. Which is why I liked the first race in that championship, where there's just no, no bouncing, very little jumping. I wish they had the current generation BMWs, like the current M135i, for example, which has entirely different characteristics to the 1M that is in the game, like the previous model. I find it kind of funny because my girlfriend drives the previous model 1 series and I drive the current model. And they're just so different. Because they just changed the characteristics of the model so much. In the current one series is more like a prettier golf, whereas the previous models were just little fun machines. They weren't practical at all, but like who cares, right? And I really wish they, they had the current gen as well because it's just so different in its characteristics. And it's awfully pretty. I mean, like from the views and, and from how it looks, I absolutely love it. It's just the driving characteristics. I actually rather drive her car than mine, which is pretty funny as well. <laughs> so the current one series, pretty good car. Previous one series, the one that is in the game. More fun car, definitely. Definitely a more fun car. And some of the choices they made with a new model I just don't get. I find it prettier, I will say that. And it's obviously, it's a bit more spacious, it's more comfortable. And it's a more sensible car, <laughs> that's for sure. But you didn't buy the previous one series because it's such a practical car. Or because it's such a fun small little car. Alright. This one obviously the, the X6 is not small and... I don't know if it's fun, I don't know, I've, I've never been in one. I'm not an SUV fan, so... <laughs> I'll probably never be inside one. It's probably fun, I don't know, I mean... It has insane power, that's for sure. But it's also the size of a minor truck, so... I don't know. Never been the fan of big cars. Even my free series that I had was too big for me. Like, not in the sense that I couldn't drive it, or park it, or anything. Like, some people have issue parking a big car or anything, but it's just... <coughs> Sorry. I'm just not a fan of it. Just, like, I'm not a fan of these cars. Like, yeah, but it's kind of cool and all, but I don't know. I, and that probably goes against the opinion of many people, because, like, SUVs are as popular as ever, but...
Sorry for a brief interruption. I mean, you obviously don't notice it because I stopped recording, but <laughs> uh, yeah. I was shortly interrupted there. Are we in race three already? Yeah, we are. We have 40 points. That's a good thing. I do not recall which race or sweat race. No, that, that is race free, isn't it? We, I wanted to drift right into the middle of them, and instead we ended up drifting into his back. <laughs> I was looking for <laughs> for a word that I can use. Well, that was a good inside line, and we'll take the inside line on this as well. They were breaking way too hard. It really cost them. And that puts us into first. We're pretty much pushing him to the outside, but they actually made a good move here by breaking and then taking the inside line. And uh, not letting me push them to the outside. So it was a good move on the AI's part, but... It was in vain, but it was a good move. That's what I want, want to say. So you gotta give credit where credit is due, right? Alright, we're 50% in. We are in a pretty comfortable position. And obviously we have won the first two races. So that is an even more comfortable position. Could have ended badly. <laughs> and that's the risk of cross-country races. That some jump can really derail you and offset your race <coughs> and then you can go from hero to zero in relation to the championship's title is that the zero to hero championship or was that the last one <laughs> I can't even tell I think it's 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 this one. It should be this one. Now, I don't know why, but... I think it should be... Uh oh that's... See, this is where... What I was saying. Like, these jumps, they can derail you good. Now we're probably catching up. Now we should be alright. That was bad. Yeah, we should still be alright. <laughs> that was closer than it should have been. <coughs> That was a lot closer than it should have been. All right, that's 60 points once again. So yeah, share code in the description as always. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And until next time, farewell.